Hello friends, welcome back to the career segment of my channel Let's Learn. So today in this segment we are going to discuss about uh, one very less common career option that is the geochemistry. So here uh, about this geochemistry we will understand what is the geochemistry, what are the eligibility criteria for taking admission into the geochemistry subject and uh, what are the job profiles available in which industry or in which companies we can get the jobs what are the institutes or in universities that are providing the MSc or PhD degrees in geology in geochemistry so we all we will understand all these things today so be with me till the end of this video and I'm sure we will uh, learn a lot of things about this career option so let's start so first, what is the geochemistry? So geochemistry is basically a branch of geology with chemistry or we can say a branch of chemistry with geology. But overall, geology and chemistry both are required in this subject, that is the geochemistry. And uh, this involves the study of the distribution of chemical elements in rocks and minerals using the physical and inorganic chemistry so you will be provided a sample of soil or rocks and there you will have to find the chemical components of that particular chemical components available in that particular rocks or soils by uh, doing several experiments in your lab so geochemists work mainly revolves around the analysis of is nature and chemical components of soil minerals and other natural resources and based on that analysis geochemist will publish a report and that report will be utilized in his company for in various purpose like uh, for identifying the uh, viscosity of the natural resources available the volume of the natural resources available so and planning regarding the mining of those natural resources so in several areas uh, these reports will be useful for the companies and um, to perform these analysis for samples are required and to collect the samples the candidate will have to visit into the different geological areas and from there they will collect the sample and bring it to their lab and where they can perform the analysis as I have already told that um, whatever the sample data you will get you will have to analyze that sample data in your lab and you will have to come up the reports having the information about the age of the rock its velocity its viscosity type purity of the minerals available in the rock and several other information that will be useful for your companies that are working in uh, several natural resources like uh, uh, fossil soil or or um, uh, minerals so there uh, the company will utilize your reports for mining purposes okay now eligibility criteria so uh, this geochemistry subject itself starts from the MSc so minimum you will have to complete MSc to get a job uh, in this area and there are some basic eligibility uh, criteria for taking admission into geochemistry so among these eligibility criteria the importance are candidate must have a very good science background at uh, 12th level he should have the physics chemistry mathematics in his uh, subjects and um, um, as a part of job, uh, a part of his job uh, he will have to uh, relocate to multiple places to collect the data to perform the research and analysis so if um, you are ready for this type of uh, life uh, where uh, you will not be stable at a particular place for several years you will have to keep moving then uh, you can choose this career option for academic background the candidate must have the uh, BSc with the subjects like uh, geology chemistry physics or mathematics and candidate should complete the BSc with 60% score and uh, above 60% score will uh, give added benefits while taking the admission into the uh, other colleges or universities for MSc candidate should have the good knowledge of computer science for the job prospect along with his uh, uh, conventional knowledge 
because um, whatever the data he will give he will have to put all this data into the computer programming and you will have to generate the reports from there so he should have some knowledge of the computer science for his job prospects so these are the you know, eligibility criteria, and uh, these may vary from one university to another university so just uh, a suggestion for candidate that if you are uh, thinking to opt for MSc uh, in geochemist from a university then uh, please visit the website of that particular university or visit that university and uh, get complete idea about the eligibility criteria from for that university because it varies a little bit from one university to another universities yeah so this is all about the eligibility criteria now best institutes so see uh, in your city uh, whatever the universities are available you can go to that university and you can uh, get some idea that whether that university is providing information providing uh, msc degree in geochemistry or not uh, apart from uh, those universities there are few very reputed universities or institutes like iit mumbai iit kharagpur bhu that is the banaras hindu universities jodhpur university delhi university kolkata universities so these are very uh, reputed university and if you are completing geochemistry from uh, these universities then uh, your job prospect will be uh, very high and you will get a um, uh, very uh, good job with uh, higher package compared to uh, your peers from other universities but yeah um, you should not stop your uh, study just to get admission into uh, these institutes you should not uh, drop one or two years or three years just to get um, uh, admission into these institutes you should uh, if you are not getting admission into uh, these institutes then you should not wait and you should take uh, admission in any other uh, well-known universities and you should complete your MSc or PhD completing MSc in geochemist you can work as a geochemist you can work as a research scientist faculty in any other universities as a geologist as a petroleum geologist as a mineralogist so there are various job profiles uh, where uh, geochemist candidates are absorbed and they get job in those profiles now companies hiring the geochemist so uh, almost all the companies that are working towards the fossils, uh, fossil oil or natural resources, mining excretions, those companies are um, very much interested in the geochemists. So you uh, can get absorbed in those companies. So in India, the, these companies are like Hindustan Petroleum, Reliance Industries, Hindustan Jinx. And uh, while uh, going through the online uh, study material I have also found that uh, even ISRO hires few candidates from geology background so yeah mm, there also you are having the options if you are completing it and uh, even uh, <clears throat> in India uh, one UPSC exam uh, happens at uh, MSc level that is the that is conducted by the geological survey of India to get uh, to select candidate as a geologist so if you are competing that uh, exam UPSC exam then you will be taken you will be absorbed in geological survey of India as a geologist and it's a very very good profile job and um, it will be very helpful in your career so yeah there are several companies not only in India that hires uh, geochemists outside India also there are a lot of companies uh, mainly companies that are dealing with uh, natural resources mining petroleum and or other fossils oil or energies so they are absorbing the geochemists so yeah uh, as uh, uh, what according to my thinking uh, geochemist uh, is also having a very good career options and they are having the good uh, job opportunities so this is all for today and uh, if you like this uh, discussion then please share it with your friends with uh, other candidates 
and please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want to have information about any other career info any other uh, career option then please mention it in the comment box and uh, uh, i will go through it i will research over it and then i will publish a video over that so that's all for today thanks for joining me bye